this career mode we're going to be driving as Lewis Hamilton as a result of well, the last career mode we did on the um, 2016 game. We drove as Sebastian Vettel, so it's only really fit that we do it as his um, biggest rival. So um, we've turned the difficulty down to 95 legend. Um, I can assure you that the AI in this game is much faster than all the other games I've played. So I can't really keep up with them right now on 100. So hopefully I can keep up on 95. And so... It's still going to take a bit of getting used to this game. I mean, the handling model is much different to 2016. And, um, yeah, I mean, if you go on the curbs, you're absolutely screwed on this game. So it's going to take a bit of getting used to. It's, it doesn't really suit my driving style. But here we are. We're going to go on to the um, one-shot qualifying. So instead of our career mode, we're just going to do shorter qualifying. So it's going to be much more gameplay than um, um, our other career mode in the Renault, which will be more focusing on the R&D and just well showing all the features of the game you can see we're about two tenths down um, on what is Vettel at this stage and we're actually down on we're actually in sixth place so hopefully you can actually qualify a bit better than that because then we are in a Mercedes and so what I've noticed on this game is that um, although the Mercedes is meant to be the faster car um, I actually found the Ferrari was better to drive and you can see that we actually qualify fifth and I, I, can, I can show you as well that Bottas qualified third. So the Ferraris look out the front row. So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely going to be hard this career mode. I mean, Ferraris definitely seems the better car um, through the corners. And we don't really have much straight line speed over them. I think somebody did a speed test and there was only about four mile per hour difference. So, um, yeah, we're going to have an upward climb today. I mean, this isn't one of our favourite tracks anyway. So, from fifth of the grids, uh, there's not really much we can do from there. Um, so yeah, this is the grid, oh, so very bog standard. So yeah, we're going to go on to the race and we're going to do a two-stop. I think that's what most of the front runners are doing. And so we're trying to experiment with a one-stop, but I mean, we're not really that good on our tire wear. Uh, so we may as well just do the two-stop. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be a simple two-stop, soft, super, uh, super, ultra soft, super soft, so ultra soft. So yeah. Lights out and away we go. It's quite a good start, but actually Bottas gets a really good start. He goes from third to first. Raikkonen box down a bit, but we're three wide and I think we've tangled a bit and Raikkonen has dropped about seventh. Ricardo's right behind us. We've got up to third in all of that. But Bottas from third to first. So after having really bad qualifying, the Mercedes actually done really well off the start and we've won three. So we're cutting on a bit later. Um, we kind of cut that corner a bit, but we're going to get a good run on Vettel. We're going to try to go around his outside. He's going to squeeze us a bit. We're still around his outside, but yeah, he's going to hold the position. So, yeah, as I've said a lot of times, I mean, the AI in this game much more aggressive than the other games, which I'm really impressed with right now. So you can see that. Trying to close him on Vettel. This time he might be able to get him this time. But no, we're still just a bit too far back. Maybe we could try to get him by the end of the lap. And you can see Raikkonen, actually, from being at seventh, he's all the way up into fourth now. So he's really come back through the field well. So, I mean, it just shows that the Mercedes and Ferrari are leagues above the rest. So, you can see that. He's trying to close in Vettel. So, we're up the inside of Vettel, then we're going to go into second place. So, that's quite good there. And just defending. Yeah, and we're just going to keep second. So, it's a Mercedes 1 2 right now, so it's the best we can possibly do. But, I mean, the Ferraris are bearing down on us. Just trying to defend from Vettel, really. But, Raikkonen, I mean. I've said this a few times, but on this game he just seems overpowered. You can see, actually, he's going to try to get past Vettel. Vettel defends, but, I mean, it's only a matter of time. Raikkonen definitely has the pace for them. They go side by side, and, yeah, Raikkonen nearly gets them. So, after being seventh on the grid, he's now battling for third. So, I'm going to have to be careful right now. But, you can see now, cutting onto lap eight. Vettel and Raikkonen still behind us. We can't really shake them, of course. This isn't one of our best tracks, and Bottas is about three seconds ahead, so... He's doing quite well up in the front. You see the, as you look behind, the two Ferraris. Raikkonen is going to go around the outside of Vettel. They go side by side, I think they tangled, and Vettel's going to go into the wall. He's out of the race. So one of the big, one of the one of our biggest championship rivals out of the race. So that's really going to affect the championship. And you can see that we go into the pits, and Raikkonen zooms past us. To where are we going to come out? Going to come out in what will be. 10th place so actually 11th as Magnussen gets us we're going to try to get him back though just had a Julian Palmer and there's actually quite a big train in front of us so it's not been that good we probably should have stayed out another lap so he can miss this train but I mean our team wanted us to pick this lap so we listened to them you can see now trying to close into the back of Korea but yeah we should be able to get these guys quite easily 
Yeah, you can see Bottas in the pit, so he should come out comfortably ahead of us. He was ahead of us before. It's going to be interesting because Raikkonen's pitted. We're going to be interesting to see where he's come out. We've overtaken Kvyat. We're going to try to get Stroll as well down the straight. Where's Raikkonen going to come out? You can see that's Bottas about it. That's Raikkonen. He's come out ahead of us. He managed to do the overcut. We're going to try to get a good run on him, though. Will we be able to get him back? We're going to go around his outside. We're going to break late. We're going to squeeze him onto the apex. We're going to try to go around his outside. But again, the AI putting a really good fight up in this game. He's got new ultra softs. We're going to try to hang it around the outside. But uh, he's got the inside line for that corner. And he will keep seventh position. So, I mean, definitely trying to put up a fight, which is good. I mean, we don't want it to be easy. But, I mean, the even 95 legends AI is pretty strong in this game. Much stronger than it was in 2016. So, it's going to take a bit of getting used to this game. You can see now he's on the ultra softs, and I think both Mercedes, me and Bottas, are on the super softs. So he should be able to hunt down Bottas now. I mean, there's no way we're going to really catch him up. And so there is quite a bit of traffic, so never know if we can get through them quickly. We might be able to close them down again. I think it's one of the Toro Rosso's up, and I think it's Signs. I've heard of him, I think, is. Oh, I don't know, it might be. Yeah, it's Bottas up ahead, sorry. And he's closing down, I think, Ocon, who's currently um, shilling in about second or first. So you can see that, trying to close down Raikkonen. We're going to try to get a good run here. We tap the back of his um, car, but there's no damage, fortunately. We're not on simulation, we're on full. Raikkonen takes signs around the outside. We're going to try to get signs. Signs a bit slow off that corner as a result of being overtaken. And we're going to get him, so we're up into fifth. But yeah, we get quite a bad run through that corner. These super softs not giving us as much grip as what Raikkonen's experiencing. And that's another car in the pits. I think that's, yeah, that's Verstappen. He was actually... Um, yeah, he was actually in the lead. So now you can see, I think Bottas up ahead. He's trying to get past what will be Ocon. He actually can't get past him at all. So Ocon doing a really good job of defending. So yeah, we um, skip on to the end. He still hasn't got past Ocon, but he's finally going to get past him. It's taking him a lap to get past him. So Ocon's put up a really good fight. We're going to see if we can close into Ocon. We actually break late. We didn't mean to, but we actually end up squeezing Ocon now. And wow, well, we got the position out of it. So. It's a bit cheeky of us. I don't really expect to be going for a move, but I think it's like lock up, and we've actually managed to gain a position. So now we're going to try to pressure Ocon, but again, Ocon defending really well. He's not really in this. Well, actually, he saw, I think he's going for the one stop, so he sort of is in this fight, and he's actually brake checking us a bit. He's really going slowly, but we just can't get past him. And you can see Bottas, so only about two, three seconds up the road. So just in a matter of lap, we've actually lost a lot of time. Do you see though? And Ocon actually peels into the pits, which is really going to help us. So now come here comes Raikkonen though. Raikkonen's going to come straight back past. Of course, we managed to get in. But he's on the fresher tyres. He's on the better tyres. So it only should be a matter of time before he gets us. You see the Bottas well up in the lead. He looks comfortable for the race win right now. And his only first race with Mercedes. So he's doing really well. As you can see there, still defending from Raikkonen. We just listen to some of the engine sounds. Not really much different to 2016 these, but here comes Raikkonen. We actually go on the grass, he's going to go around the outside, we go defensive, but it's no use. So there's only just off size, he just drives around the outside, and the Ferrari grip really helping him. So he's up into second. So he opened the DRS. Which makes, but yeah, it's not going to be enough to close him, so I think he's going to be getting past us for good now. And as we skip on to lap 18, he's going to peel into the pits now. He closed down both us a bit, but... Um, his ultra stops beginning to wear out towards the end, but he's going to get an undercut on us. So it's going to be interesting to see where he comes out. So we're just going to we're going to put on lap 20, I think. So as we drive through the first sector, see, just yeah, it's a quite shabby first sector for us, really. I mean, we can't really nail this together, but we're going to peel into bits lap 20, making sure to hit the brake marker. And yes, we've released the clutch. It's quite a good pit stop. We're just going to remember to disengage the pit limiter. Here comes Raikkonen on our right-hand side, and he's going to clearly pass us. And here's right Rado as well. He's going to be up into third. So we come out ahead of Verstappen and Perez, who are in fifth and sixth. But right now we are all the way down in fourth, which isn't going to be good. So we're going to have to try to chase down um, the leaders if we're going to have any chance of a podium. But Ricardo is on the one-stop, so he should be easy to get. It's going to be interesting to see where Bottas and... Raikkonen come out though. Raikkonen setting the fastest lap though. He's going to come out. I think you, you can see on the mini map the neck and neck Raikkonen and Bottas. Bottas only just defends, so he pits him in the perfect time really. If he left it another lap, he would have been. He would have lost the lead to Raikkonen. So, as I was saying, is Raikkonen's AI is absolutely overpowered. I mean, he was seventh at one point, but he's fighting for the lead now. 
even so I don't think he's going to hold on to it. He's only um, older super soft tyres, so. But right now we've got bigger things to worry about. We're trying to get past Ricardo. Ricardo holding us up a lot, so this is probably going to cost us second place. To go up the inside of Ricardo, we're trying to squeeze him out. Yeah, we're up into third place. Here we go now. Down the straight. Cutting onto lap 29. Nothing really much happened. We kept third place. And, yeah, I mean, Raikkonen lapped a few cards. So did Bottas. But Bottas went on to win the race. We're going to come home in third. It's not the best result, but it's not our favourite track either. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully you can do better at China, which is going to be the next race. But third isn't a bad result. Um... Of course, the Ferrari definitely looks the strongest car. I mean, if they didn't have that tangle, it probably could have got a 1 2. I mean, this looked out the front row in qualifying, and Reckoning definitely came back from seventh from the grid. So, definitely Ferrari proving something there. Reckoning nearly went on to win there. He definitely got us. You can see that the Finns look out the first two positions. But it will be Mercedes who lead the constructors. Here we go now, just having the podium celebrations. Same old, same old. They've actually enhanced it a bit from 2016, which I quite like, but I don't really like the faces compared to 2016. I think they're a bit more too cosmetic for me. As we scroll down, it, actually, Vettel, as I rightly said, did DNF. Only two of the cars were lapped, and it was both of the McLarens. The um, Sauber's, of course, 7th or 16th and 17th. You have a look at the um, standings. It's just, of course, the results of the um, race. And you can see, actually, in the constructors, Force India are doing really well. So this is what I want to see. It's quite realistic. And this really didn't happen in our career mode we did earlier. So that's going to be it for this episode. And join us for the next race, which should be up in a few hours' time.